Hey, it's been a while since I've done one of these. The plan was to upload this video a few weeks after the last one, but I got a little burned out and I've been like this the whole time figuring things out. Let me show you what I've been able to do. First, I reworked the whole gun system, so now the player can pick up two guns at a time and drops the equipped one if another one is trying to be picked up. In making this system, I was able to break every other gun mechanic I had. I'll show you. This one, I was able to spam the fire button. This isn't sped up at all. Weapons would go through your face whenever you wanted to switch them because that's how first person shooters work. The reload camera would make anybody sick. Why carry two guns when you can carry three? Aiming down sights was hot garbage at best. The second biggest thing I finally got was aiming down sights. I have to have a camera on each gun. The character camera then lerps to the camera on the gun when pressing the button to aim down sights. It actually works great and I can adjust each gun camera however I need to to get the sights looking perfect. In the last clip you might have noticed I had an aim down sights bug. The gun camera would not follow the gun sight properly when I aimed up and down. It was only up and down though. Left and right was perfectly fine. Multiple days later, and many of <laughs> later, I got it to work. Just don't ask me how. Next, you'll notice that points are now shown below the mini map. Players can now use those points to open up doors to get to the next area. This was a much easier mechanic to implement than I thought it would be. It's as simple as every zombie that dies can just add 10 points to it. Along with that, every door you open, subtract that amount of points from it. I also got rid of my McDonald's UI. Ugh, disgusting. Right now, I don't know what I want to do with the UI, so the only way to see the bullet count is from the debug log in the top left. That is definitely not permanent, but it's good enough for now until I figure out what I want to do with the UI. I think that is about it for what I've done. I have some surprises coming up for the game. One of the main things I want to do is start working on the mapper level. I'm not comfortable with 3D modeling, so I'll need to get better at it. My goal is to 3D model a crude version of my car. If I think if I'm able to do that, then I'll be able to um, 3D model whatever I want for my game. Keep an eye out for my next video where I'll show you my progress of 3D modeling.